Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to share with you something that I've been working on for quite some time now. Um, actually, two months now. <laughs> so, it is an animation editor. I am currently wanting to develop uh, a game, and so I'm writing some tools for myself. The motivation behind this is that I find working in Blender, as great as it is, making models, um, bringing those models with animation, I just, for the life of me, can't seem to get it to work, so I decided to write my own um, animation software. So, I just want to take a moment to demonstrate kind of uh, some of the things that the application can do. So, we first start by loading assets. I'm going to load a model that's been modeled in Blender and X, uh, skinned in Blender and imported into my application. The model is just this. Okay, it does not include the plane. The plane is just there to help um, kind of visualize where the model stands. And so the model can easily be mo uh, animated by selecting bones. To kind of make selection of bones easier, um, I have a functionality to make the mesh translucent so you can see the bones more. And then you just on the timeline, you can insert keyframes anywhere. And you can use the X, Y, and Z keys to rotate. Likewise, you can um, drag around to have the character move its limbs and then press I or add keyframe to insert um, keyframes and poses. I uh, don't really have any particular order that I'm animating this guy. I'm just kind of showing off what the application can do right now. Um, maybe let's have him move some legs. It just doesn't seem very natural right now how he's moving. The application is still under development, so it has some minor bugs, but overall, the, um, it works. So as you can see, he moves his arms, and he just kind of does that animation. Uh, you can delete keyframes. Well, first you can kind of hover over the timeline by pressing Control and it interpolates between two keyframes and you can in, you can delete keyframes by double clicking while holding the control keys and you'll delete keyframes you can also reset the pose and now you can also load and save animations and right now I'm going to show you how to load an animation so under assets I have animations this happens to be a run animation so the character is running you can also create an animation and then click on save animation and it'll save it to disk and you can load it later on so I'm going to have this whole source file available on my website, solidiscode.com. Um, you can download it and make use of it. Um, feel free to contribute. This is a work in progress. Uh, I just want to make this uh, a really nice polished um, asset for everyone, including myself. You can easily take this character and um, put it into your game or whatever you happen to be doing and I also have um, an exporter for Blender written as part of the um, source code so go ahead and go check it out uh, thank you for watching and I hope you uh, go to my website and check out this character animation software thank you